Chinese affair. Han Yue, the number eight seed, winner last week at the Arctic Open in Finland. Up against the Olympic champion Chen Fei, who was a beaten finalist at uh, this event. The beaten finalist last year, of course. Well, look at that draw from the quarterfinal stage. All four players in the top half of that quarterfinal draw from China. Uh, five seats and five different nationalities, and in fact, five players who had contested a final previously at the Denmark Open at the quarterfinal stage. By semi-final stage, three seats, three different nationalities, and three beaten finalists, because of course, the lady we're going to watch, Chen Fei. Carolina Marin was in the final in 2020. She's already through to second final, uh, beating the beaten finalists from 2005. 15. So the bottom half of the draw, the battle of the former world champions, and it was uh, the Olympic champion from 2016 that repeated that result of the Rio final. That Rio Olympic final, also three and games, now, as indeed it was earlier today. China have you. Han Yue, the number eight seed. What a couple of weeks she's had. Won the Arctic Open in Vanta in Finland. They're beating teammate Wang Shi in the final. Uh, that was actually her first ever World Tour title above a 300 level. But here is the reigning Olympic champion, Chen Ufei. Gold medal in Tokyo. 2020 Olympics played in 2021. Beat Tai Su Ying in a wonderful, thrilling final that lasted an hour and 21 minutes. Beaten in the final of this event last year, lost out to her teammate Herbing Zhao whom she beats in yesterday's quarterfinal. So as you can see, this will be a fourth yeah, meeting between these them. two players, although one of those three did take place at junior level, and I'm really not sure that we should be counting Thank junior you. match results towards senior statistics. Here we go, red ready black. for the toss of the coin. Black for you, red for you. Uh, it's very appropriate, black for the black shirt black. and red Receive. for... That's it. The red shirted player. So I'm slightly surprised that Han Yue has chosen to receive, having won the toss of the coin. Chen Fei was very, very quick to say that she wanted to start the far end of the court. Well, it's the second consecutive semi final for Han Yue, making her fourth appearance here at the Denmark Open. At 23 or so, she'll turn 24 next month from uh, Changzhou, southern Fujian province on the east coast of China. And on Tuesday earlier this week, uh, she went up to a career high ranking of number eight. And that's a result of her victory last week. So looking at her path through to today's semi-final, Pai Yu Po in the first round. Pai Yu Po had COVID last week. I'm surprised she was able to play. Nguyen of Vietnam in the second round. And the quarter-final against Zhang Yiman in a repeat of last week's final in Vanta. Three games in the quarter-final. So to the Olympic champion, Chen Ufei, who is 25 years of age, from Hangzhou, the capital of Xixiang province, which is where we've just had the Asian Games and where we will play the World Tour Finals for the next four years. The World Tour Finals for the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines will qualify for the end of season finale. Wadani from Indonesia in the first round and then Wang Xi, the Asian champion and the quarterfinal a repeat of last year's final uh, but a reverse result with her beating the defending champion 
Herbin Zhao in two straight games. I think I need to correct myself. I was talking about Han Yue's quarterfinal yesterday. Of course, it was against Zhang Yiman. I do apologize about that. Three games it was, though, and I think that's the important thing, that uh, she had a longer match yesterday uh, than her opponent. So whether that's taken its physical toll, we... I don't know, but I think we're probably about to find out. Sara Shahosini of Austria is our umpire for this one, and Philip Ian Chi from America is the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Yufei, China. And on my left, Han Yue, China. <laughs> Chen Yufei to serve. Love all. Play. So the second women's single semi final gets underway. Who will meet <laughs> Carolina Marin over. One, in tomorrow's no. final? Well, it'd be quite a, a selling point if we had the former and the current Olympic champions playing against each other. Service over. One, all. Service over, two, one. Oh, that's a lovely shot. All about angle Three, and placement. One. Not going for power. Gives the shuttle a glancing blow. Creates a bit of spin. Both these players have been in three finals already this year. Chen Ufei won the Indonesian Super 1000 event, where in fact she beat Carolina Marin in the final, the player that's already won her semi-final. That's a perfect three, length on that oh. clear from the current Olympic champion. Title for Chen Fei, two titles this year for Han Yue. Not only the Arctic Open last week, but she also won the World University Games. Oh, that's a perfect net shot. That really is glorious. Look at that. You won't see better than that. Hit the top of the tape and just trickled over. Ah. Missed it. Service over. Four, five.
Oh, yes. The big key there, taking it early at the front of the court, Jenny Faye. And just guiding the shuttle across court. Fog. Yeah, taking it early. The push Six. down the forehand side there Fog. as well. So three straight points to go into the lead for the number three seed. Fourth semi at the Denmark Open for Chen Fei. And really, Chen Fei's consistency this year has been extraordinary. Of course, the World Tour has been dominated by two players, An Se Young, who's won eight World Tour events, and Akane Yamaguchi, five. But the other nine World Tour events so far this year have been won by nine Service different over. women's singles players. Six, but that will change here at the Denmark Open because the player already in the final and both of these players on court now have each won a World Tour title in 2023. Oh, that's lovely. Service the way over. she just sort of swayed nine, the body, six. turned the racket head to play the block into the open space. Absolutely delightful. Look at that. Sways the body out of the way. Gives herself the freedom to play the shot. Ten, six. Service over, seven, ten. Help. Service over, eleven, seven, interval. So it's a four point advantage for the reigning Olympic champion. Eleven seven. Play. So play resumes a four point advantage for Chen Ufei against her teammate Han Yue. Just wide. I mentioned Service a moment over. ago, just before Eight. the mid game interval, Eleven. the consistency of Chen Ufei this year. And just to emphasize that, this is her 11th semi-final in her 13th tournament of the year. Only twice failed to get to at least the semi-final. That is remarkable consistency. But I think we overlooked that because of Anse Young's record this year.
Yep. Just along the back line. And for those of you that aren't aware of Anse Young's record this year, she's been in 13 finals from 14 tournaments played in 2023. That is simply remarkable. She's already won 10 titles, and sadly, she's missed the event, uh, this event, uh, due to injury. So has the other dominant player in world badminton this year, Genuine Akane Yamaguchi. Both of our top two players in. out injured at the moment. So the first challenge of this women's singles semi-final, challenge from Chen Fei. I think she might have a point here, although she's handed the shuttle back, which suggests that she's not wholly convinced by her challenge. No, and that's why it was a very good call by the line judge. Service over. 10, 12. Play. Eleven, twelve. That's a very good lift. Oh dear, complete miss hit. Well, and it went under the net. And it means that Han Yue is back level. Well, these two players, both finalists at World Junior Championships. Chen Fei won the gold medal at the World Junior Championships in Bilbao in 2016, and a year later, Han Yue won 13, silver 12. in Jogjakarta. Lost out to Gregoria Mariska Tunjun of Indonesia. Yeah, just too many mistakes uh, in this phase of the game from Chen Fei. She looked very comfortable at 11-7. Well left. Service over. 13 all. Well, that had been six of seven points for Han Yue since the mid game interval. Uh, I'm sure this lady very relieved that she's sort of broken that run. Oh, great net shot. Service over. 14. I think that oh. the Olympic champion needs to do more of that. Come on, the rallies more, dictate the pace. Take the game to her opponent. Rather than being reactive, be proactive. Oh, that's sensational. Service what over. a shot 15, from Han Yue. 14. That is simply wonderful. That's a really loose backhand.
Oh, that can only have been long by a whisker. 14. This is an 18, extraordinary 14. turnaround in fortunes. with Venom. 16, 18. Yeah, there was a bit of a swing with the racket from Chen Ufei, indicating to her opponent that she was going to play the lift and then just checks the shot at the last moment. Isn't that delightful? Chen Yufei. don't look at the replay. Longest rally so far. Umpire not liking Chen Ufei looking at the replay. Not quite sure why not. Maybe delaying play. 18 off. Oh. So back level. Four straight points. And it's 18 all. Moving each other to the full diagonal, and there's another one. 19, 18. A lot of court covered by both players in that rally. Deep backhand, then a sharp angled shot to the forehand side of Han Yue, and it finds its mark. But prior to that, within the rally, she had played her opponent to the front, to yes. the back, from side to side full diagonals time and time again. 19, so five straight points and Chen Ufei back into the lead. Six straight points and two game point opportunities. 20, and this is the thing about point, the very elite players. They have the ability to tighten up their games and produce the goods in pressure situations. And 14, 18 down was a pressure situation, but she's converted on her first game point. 21, 18. A very, very good run of points. Seven straight points to close out the opening game in 18 minutes.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game. Love on. Play. Trying the deception once again, Five. Chen Hufei. No. Yeah, lovely. Gets behind it well. Then she's got the options. We saw at the end of the opening game, Chen Fei playing winners across court. That time straight down the line. Nice. Well, something, as we look at that, again, that was a super shot. Uh, something is bothering Han Yue at the back of the court. Somebody using a flashlight. Yeah, okay. yep, somebody behind the court now. Yeah, it's very distracting for the players. Two, oh. Service over. Well, obviously, Three, Chen Fei is trying to reach back to back finals at the Denmark Open. She was a beaten finalist last year. The last women's singles player to be in two consecutive finals at the Denmark Open was Nozomi Okuhara. She was beaten in the final in 2019 and then won the title a year later. Nice idea. Four, two. Wrong execution. Perhaps wasn't really behind the shuttle enough to play that cross court. The lift was short, and Han Yue felt that she had to guess which way the smash was coming, and she got it completely wrong. I think there's a little bit of sideways drift, you know. I think it's from right to left as we look down on the court during the rally. Seven, two. Just sense that there's another gear that Chen Fei can go to when needed. Seven straight points to close out the opening game. Five straight points now. 
service. Over. That's uh, another wonderful net shot. I have to say, Han Yue's net play today seven. has been superb. Beautiful. The accuracy of that smash. That was about a centimetre inside the sideline. Perfect. Careless. Ten, three. Out. Service over. Four, ten. Oh, she's done it again. Would you Five, believe it? Ten. How many neck cords has Han Yue had today? Well, too many for it to be luck. Must be practice skill. Look at this. That's magnificent. Nice, beautiful, smooth movement to the round the head position from Chen Fei. And that smooth and quick movement gave her the options. And the obvious shot straight down the line was played to perfection. So a game and 11-5 up, the Olympic champion Chen Fei. So 11-5, the advantage to Chen Fei. Now that deflection Service takes it over. wide of the sideline. Short. Yeah, got what it deserved once again. Seven, it's Han Yue that's getting the better of the two at the front of the court on the net play. Well, it was after the mid game interval in the opening game that Chen Fei just went off the boil a little. 11-7 up to 18-14 down. She'll have to Eight, 11. make sure she doesn't do that again. Seven, 
service. Over. Yeah. That movement Twelve. round the head from Chen Fei is absolutely superb. running out of ideas. I think she's going for winners. I assume that was an attempted winner too early on in the rally. If it's a building shot, you really shouldn't be making an error because you don't need to play it that tight. Super. Anuair is just struggling to get Chen Fei out of position. The Olympic champion is very much commanding the rallies. Yeah, again, you see she's trying to push Chen Fei deep into the forehand corner, get her out of position, but she's reading it. The push isn't high enough or deep enough. And it's half a step to intercept. That's better. It. Well, she weathered the storm of the onslaught of attacking play from the front of the court and then made a complete mess of the easier shot. When you're only three points from victory, I suppose you have the luxury of being able to make one or two errors. Especially with such a healthy lead. Service over. 19-11. Uh, she's hitting there with the drift. 12, 19. Well reached. 
Oh, but look at that. Service that over. is absolute perfection from Chen Ufei. Match point. The punched yeah. clear across court, having played her opponent to the, fore, to the backhand net, goes deep forehand, and she couldn't have walked over there and placed it any better. Eight match point opportunities for Chen Ufei. Yeah. Only needed the one. 21-18, 21-12, the margin of her victory. Only 35 minutes in total for this semi-final. In all honesty, uh, apart from that little lapse after the mid-game interval of the opening game, Chen Fei looked a different class to her opponent today. Here's the final rally. Perfect use of the body smash. But once again, look where her feet are. Han Yuer is not getting her pushes and didn't the entirety of the match over her head and deep enough in court. And the result is that Chen Fei has romped through this one in two straight games. 21-18, 21-12. So coming up next is an all Indonesian men's doubles. It's the defending champions Alfian and Ardianto up against last year's all England champions Fikri and Mulana. Welcome back to the beautiful city of Ordensa, third largest city in Denmark. Semi